Hi friends, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be going over my January 2023 spending. I used to post these videos every month about a year ago, but I stopped doing it and I deleted it from my channel because I didn't like the way that I was filming them. But anyways, I, I told myself that I would try to film these once a month this year. I think that it's fun when people share what they're spending their money on. I love watching videos like this. I also think it's just like really interesting to hear what other people spend their money on. So I'm gonna be sharing with you truly every single transaction that I did in January and I hope you find it kind of interesting. Okay, so if you see me looking down, I'm just looking at my laptop with my spreadsheet up on the screen, which by the way, this is the spreadsheet that I was talking about in my 2022 financial recap slash like planning for 2023 video. Um, I'll link that in the, the description. Basically last year I had just put together like a spreadsheet and I was only tracking um, like my expenses and my spending and that spreadsheet it was just not very aesthetically pleasing so I found this one through another like Canadian personal finance youtuber named Carter Sullivan I'll link her channel down below anyway so this is the spreadsheet that she uses or at least she used to it's from Etsy I think it was like $15 um, so I tested it out this month for the first time and I will say there are some things I really don't like about it and I want to change. I'm gonna give it a shot for a few more months and see how it works. So first, let's just go over every category that I have and the total that I spent in each category. I also wanna say this is really not like a budgeting video. I don't really budget necessarily. All I really do is like track my spending and I feel like that kind of helps me stay on track. I don't feel the need to be like super strict, I guess with myself with a budget, but maybe that's something I should do, I don't know. But honestly, for the past like year, it's only been tracking my spending and I feel like that works pretty well for me. Okay, so let's talk about my categories and their totals for January. So I will say, I think that I have more categories than most people probably would at least compared to like a lot of the people that i watch i don't know if it's fully necessary to have this many categories but i do like like really seeing where my money is going and having it really um like broken down so like for example i think a lot of people for their fixed expense category would probably include like reoccurring bills you know car payments gas groceries that kind of thing in their fixed expense category but i like to completely um break it down so like my fixed category would include my rent my car insurance phone bill like truly reoccurring expenses um but then groceries and like other car expenses kind of have their own separate categories if that makes sense so i'll put the screenshot up on the screen you can see that um, this template i have my categories listed and then there's a column for budget and then a column for actual like i said i don't really budget these things out it's more just like important for me to track my spending i'm really dragging this out so let's just talk about um, each category and their total and then i'm gonna go and do like a deep dive into each category and fully break down every transaction that happened in january under that category so for my fixed expenses in January, I spent a total of $1,039. General, like shopping, $92. Dining out and coffee, that was $434. Under hobbies, I have $136. Beauty, $180. Pets, I didn't spend any money on my guinea pigs this month, so not bad. <laughs> Groceries, $407, subscriptions, $97, my car, um, $236. That seems a little high. I'm interested to see what that is. Um, random, nothing, that's good. Wellness, $38. Gifts, $52. Business, zero. And then charity, $25. So that brings us to the grand total of $2,741.78 in January. I'm honestly really happy with that number. I would like to see it go down a little bit more, but if you watched my 2022 recap video that I mentioned, you would know that in the last like quarter of the year, Q4 was a really expensive month for me. I was overspending for sure, like around four to $5,000 a month, which is just insane. 
Um, so I am happy with this number. I will I would like to see it go down a little bit more in February I don't know how realistic that is because I'm going to be traveling in February I'm going to Honolulu, which obviously even though I've already paid for the Airbnb and the flights and the car rental um, obviously I still have to pay for food and there's always hidden expenses that come up so I'd like to see this number a little bit lower next month I don't know if it's doable, we'll see. I feel like I shouldn't say I don't know if it's doable. Obviously it's probably doable. I just don't know if it's actually gonna happen. Okay, should we start with fixed? Let's do that. Actually, before we get into it, I'm gonna put in a little pie chart of my spending breakdown. The template that I'm using, it doesn't exactly show up like this. I had to get my boyfriend to like fix it to create a little pie chart for me that actually breaks down. Um, all of my spending into my different categories, but I'll put that up on the screen. It looks like Obviously the most expensive category for me was my fixed expenses and then what? Um, dining out I spent more money on dining out than groceries, which is not Good, that is not good. This needs to change I do say that every single month and it never happens, but that could be a good goal for next month. All the other categories seem relatively low. Nothing really jumps out to me, so I don't know. I can live with this, but like I said, I would like the grocery budget to be higher and the dining out budget to be lower. Or maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't need the grocery budget to be higher. I only need the dining out budget to be lower. Okay, so into our actual expense tracker. Again, I'll try to put these up on the screen for you. Yeah, but let's go ahead and get started. So for my fixed expense category, this includes my rent. Um, I do live with my boyfriend and all of our utilities are included in our rent. So my portion is $775, which is really good compared to... I guess what rental prices are like in Calgary right now. But yeah, I'm happy with the price of our rent and I'm not mad about that. So the total that I spent on my gym membership was $54.36. I do get like a corporate discount through my work to this gym. So this is low and I can live with it for sure, especially because before I got this membership, I was doing F45 classes. I had like an unlimited membership and the studio that I went to offered a student discount, which I used, but it still worked out to like $140 a month. So $54 a month is definitely manageable. My car insurance is $117 a month. To be honest, I feel like I could call around and probably get a better rate, but I haven't done it. So I don't know, 117 doesn't seem that bad, but I probably could get it a little bit lower. And then my phone bill is $92.79. All these fixed expense prices I feel like are good. I'm not mad about any of them. Let's move on to shopping because I'm very curious to see what I spent. Okay, so for hair products, I spent $72. Um, this probably seems high, but I am very strict about the products that I use on my hair. They have to be like salon quality. Next is $10.69 at Lululemon. This one really wasn't bad because I bought a hold tight long sleeve shirt in black. It's my favorite, but I had a gift card from Christmas from like my company. So that's what I used. Okay. And then I spent $10 at Sephora. This was an order that I placed with my boyfriend and all we got was moisturizer since we're out. Um, my favorite one is from the ordinary. It's just like the regular moisturizer. So we bought a few of those and then I kept one. I think he kept two. Honestly, this category I'm really not mad at either, but here we go. Dining out and coffee. I think that this one is going to hurt. Yeah, this is a lot. Obviously, I cannot talk about every single transaction, but a few of these took place um, when we were on vacation in Jasper over New Year's. So that's kind of to be expected. You know what? I don't love the amount that I was ordering Uber Eats, Skip the Dishes, and DoorDash. That really adds up. I don't have too much to say about that. Honestly, every single month, I just look at how much I spent on dining out and coffee and it just like hurts me a little bit. So every single month I say that I'm going to improve. And to be honest, it never really happens. This is something that I need to be more intentional about for sure. So yeah, I don't know. The total was $434. 
which is very high and yeah that number needs to come down okay next category is my hobbies this expense 136 dollars was only for my riding lessons i can completely justify that it's like the one thing that i really enjoy doing i go every single sunday and it's just such like a good outlet for me it's actually usually double the price but i was only going once every two weeks in january um just with like the way my schedule worked out so this is actually really low usually it's double okay so for beauty i got my eyebrows threaded twice in january it's about 20 dollars each time and then i spent 141 dollars on my nails i got a shellac pedicure and powder dip on my nails with chrome on top um yeah so 141 dollars not my best but i am going on vacation and i need cute nails okay pets like i said i didn't spend any money on my guinea pigs this month so that is zero groceries it looks like we only spent 63 dollars at costco is that all we did for actual grocery shopping it looks like the rest was all meal prep or like meal delivery services like good food chef's plate hello fresh um no actually we spent 43 dollars on instacart so that must have been like from superstore or something like that but still like $100 on groceries and the rest of that was all like food delivery kits and like I said in my last video I only get the um, meal service kits when I have a discount so these were all discounted boxes and it still added up to be like over $400 or I guess like over $300 with the actual grocery shopping I don't know I don't know if we're gonna be doing this as much in February I'm kind of I'm kind of ready to just go back to our normal normal recipes for a bit okay not horrible I mean honestly Disney plus I only watch the Kardashians on and I don't even think that's airing so I could probably cancel that hey you I'm still using Spotify I use all the time Amazon I haven't really been using that much to be honest and my boyfriend has Amazon Prime so we probably could just share I probably could cancel that membership Adobe is not cheap, but I do use Premiere Pro to edit my videos, so that's worth it, and I can write that one off. Audible, I really need to cancel because, honestly, like, I'll use the credits on a book, and I've only finished, like, three of the books that I've ordered or that I've purchased. So, yeah, honestly, Audible could probably go. And then my YouTube membership um, so that i can watch videos without ads that's only 13 dollars, and that is definitely worth it for me okay my car so like i said this one seems a little bit high let's take a look at what i was spending on okay so it looks like i got um gas a few times but i didn't really fill up and then parking 25 dollars shell 399 that was just like a car wash because i literally couldn't see anything out of my windows um 7-eleven that was actually gas too and then another 25 on parking so i mean that all makes sense um but that is higher than i expected okay my random category i didn't spend any money so that's good wellness let's take a look at wellness Okay, so for wellness, I spent $38.86 on a 60-minute massage. Um, it obviously was more than that, but my benefits do cover like a good chunk of the massages. So I think I just had a little bit left plus the tip. So not bad. Not mad about that at all. Okay, I really don't know what I bought for gifts because, I mean, Christmas was in December. So I don't know what I was buying, but let's take a look. Actually, you know what? This does make sense. I forgot that my office did a secret Santa that was supposed to be held in December, but all of us pretty much were sick. I had COVID at the time, so it got canceled and moved to January, but I didn't buy the gift until January. So um, the dollar store was just like on the bag and the wrapping paper. And then I got um, my secret Santa person a Starbucks gift card and like a traveling mug the home sense puzzle was for my boyfriend that wasn't really like a gift um i think i just put it under that category to make my other ones lower um but i don't know i guess it could be considered a gift it just it was for no reason 
business zero dollars and then for charity let's see i definitely would like to spend more money on charity in the future um i don't know what organizations exactly i want to give to but that's something i need to think about more i'd like to set up some sort of like reoccurring payment maybe for like our local animal shelter or something like that but this month somebody came door to door from unicef and i gave them 25 dollars so yeah like i said in total i spent two thousand seven hundred and forty one dollars and seventy eight cents which is a huge improvement um compared to the last couple months of 2022 so nothing really is stressing me out about this besides the amount of money that i spent on like takeout and coffee that definitely needs to come down like i said i don't really know if february is the month that that's gonna happen because i'm traveling for pretty much half of it that's not true like a third of it but we'll see what happens so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future should i make it a goal to do one of these every single month or does nobody care i don't know let me know I think this is a fun way to also like hold myself accountable so I really would like to keep filming them but we'll see. Anyways that's all I have for you today. I will talk to you next week.